Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here is Porty's Garage, home of DIY, mostly geared to automotive, but here at Mix, you just never know what you're gonna get. So today we are going to be doing, testing out three different types of crack sealant on our driveway. I let it get a little too far. I better start doing some work on it. We're gonna have to lose, or I may just lose this whole driveway. And that's not good. So we're gonna try three different types. I've got this pourable sealer here. To be able to just cut the top off, pour it in. Uh, thing I'm concerned about this is the amount of solids that are in it. Uh, I'll read through that here in a little bit and see uh, what percent solids are in here. But when it dries, I think there's not much left in the crack. Got that at Home Depot. Got this uh, ply stick. This you uh, cut, shove in the crack, heat it up, and it should melt right in. Got this off of Amazon. So we'll see how that works. Hopefully this works for the wider cracks. And I've also got a uh, tube of sealant here that I've got the caulk gun for. It's actually a crack filler, not just sealant, but it's an asphalt crack sealant. Got the caulk gun for and the trowel. Also got the Benzomatic and we'll, we'll see how this works. So let me get the camera set up down the driveway. I'll show you some of the cracks and let's see if we can start filling them. Yeah, before we head down, I'll just give you a close up of what these are. I'll be interested to see how these hold up and how well they work. All right, I did not see anywhere on here listing what percent solids is in, in this uh, liquid filler. There we go. So you can see some of the cracks I've got here on the driveway. I'll put my hand down for reference. I mean, those are getting pretty wide. I tried trial grade. It stuck for a while, but now that's starting to peel up. So I'm gonna use the uh, rope in this larger one here. See how that works. And some of these smaller ones, I'll try to just put the pourable in. And then I got some other bigger ones up here. Maybe I'll do the uh, caulking in. This side is just as bad. Problem I have, let's hope these ladies don't get in the asphalt as I put it down. So you can see that tube of caulk is done already. There's actually a grit in it. It'll work well for defined cracks, but these that are more spider cracks, a little, little difficult. Definitely need to uh, trowel it and push it down into the crack. Let's try the next one. All right, let's use this ply stick. I've never used it before. So I'm gonna try a one foot section. This comes with about 30 feet. So let's start, see what happens here. Try to form it into place, but it's not staying. So this may be good for bigger Huh, difficult to use. All right, so we kind of got that in there. I don't know how much I got left. That fills the crack nicely. A little bit of work to get it in there. A little bit of heat needed. Did burn the asphalt a little bit, but that does a decent job of filling that crack. I'm gonna keep going.
So that took me about an hour. And I got about 16 feet done. A couple things I do like and don't like. You can see I burn my asphalt at different spots. But this is already cool to the touch. You can see where it drizzled in there. I mean, it filled everything. If I would have filled this properly, that could have been great. So maybe I got the wrong torch, but that stuff, uh, that might be warm. Huh? Not too bad. It's soft, but not bad. So that did a much better job. Doesn't look as nice, but let's try the pourable sealer now. Alrighty. I'm going to cut this pretty big. You know, I'd never even look to see, do I have anything in here? Oh, nope. All right. I did not shake it. Let's see what happens. Well. <laughs> Wasn't a cap there but there is one in here. Give me a second. I knew there was a cap somewhere. I think I'm gonna grab the trowel and push the trowel down on this also. All right, I just went up, grabbed the trowel. You can see it's not really self-leveling. Well, we'll see how that works. Let me set up the time lapse and we'll uh, do a bunch of it again. So you can see I got a lot done pretty quick. Now, how well is this in the cracks? Uh, you can see I had to trowel it push it down in it was not self-leveling see the small cracks it's not going to do much for the deep cracks it'll fill which has got more volume which i like but i'll tell you that hot asphalt that was a pain in the butt to do but that's going to work the best i think and then once you get all these different colors done on your driveway then you can seal coat it all right, let's do some final thoughts. I think this stuff did the best. I think it'll last the longest, um, but it took the most time, used a lot of propane. Uh, maybe if I had the right torch, it'd go better, but that, uh, that asphalt rope was pretty good. The pourable went the fastest, you know, and it was almost the same consistency as that caulking. Um, it, was, it had a little grit to it, so I'm gonna have to watch maybe in six months to a year, I'll uh, do a follow-up and we'll walk up and see which one uh, is holding up better. But the uh, pourable one was not self-leveling. I did use the trowel, push it down in the cracks. Uh, the thin cracks it may not work on. Same with the sealant, that asphalt uh, tube caulk. I was able to squirt that down, trowel that down, push it down into the cracks and it was about the same. We'll see uh, how those hold up, but this hot asphalt, when it got hot, burned and then started melting, it just filled those cracks. So if you want a good job, do this. You can see it was kind of messy though. Uh, if you're gonna seal coat the whole driveway when you're done, I think they'll, any of them will do. I think that hot asphalt will be the best. So uh, let me know in the comments below which one you think you would use, which one you like best. If you like the content on the, uh, the video here, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching Porty's Garage.